no longer prime minister, but Muhyiddin Yassin gets to be in the driver's seat for a bit longer. The king has accepted his resignation, but appointed him as caretaker prime minister until a successor is found. During my audience with the king, I submitted my resignation as prime minister and on behalf of the entire cabinet under Article 43, subsection 4 of the Federal Constitution, because I have lost the confidence of the majority of Parliament. There had been questions about Muhyiddin's legitimacy from the start. He became Premier in March 2020, when he and several members of Parliament switched sides and brought down the reformist government that had ruled for less than two years. This also allowed the United Malays National Organization, or UMNO, a party that was voted out in 2018, largely because of a multi-billion dollar financial scandal, to return to power. Since then, the alliance known as Perikatan Nacional has been plagued by infighting, partly because some UMNO politicians felt they were being sidelined, despite being part of the biggest party in government. Muhyiddin has also been under pressure because of his administration's handling of the pandemic. In January, he advised the king to declare a state of emergency and suspend parliament. In June, he placed the country under lockdown. Yet Malaysia has been reporting record high coronavirus cases and deaths. Last month, hundreds of people gathered on the streets of Kuala Lumpur, demanding Muhyiddin resign. Now that that's happened, there are concerns the country will face a period of political uncertainty. The king can decide on a new leader, one who he believes is likely to command the confidence of the majority in parliament. But there is no obvious successor, which may pave the way for new alliances. I think this will push the opposition, Pakatan Harapan, AMNO. They need to talk with each other. And also Pakatan National, maybe they need to talk because this is something that are not good, not only for the economy, but also for the pandemic. The palace also said in a statement on Monday that holding elections now is not feasible because of the coronavirus epidemic in the country. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.